way, dog. No way. Remember when Bosch said that he would performatively watch you all get shot at the Capitol? And when I say you all, I'm specifically talking about left-leaning people. Anyone who thinks we can stage a revolution in the U.S. right now is... You feel free to try, because you're not doing anything for leftism anyway, and uh, I'll performatively distance myself from you after all of you are shot in front of the Capitol. Two contextual notes. One, this was pre-January 6th riot, and two, this was him responding to me. All right, okay. Meep, meep. Go watch that one if you haven't already, but we need to really just hone in on this one really fast. More importantly, the reason why I bring this up is because all of his fans always, 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 always tell me to give Vosh the context, the benefit of the doubt. He's explaining broader contexts here. First of all, no, because if I have to engage with every single one of Bosch's videos, I have to give him ad revenue on top of this video I'm already making. And I don't want to give Bosch ad revenue for every single one of his videos, every single one of his streams, and thus support him. I was already at one point a fan of Bosch's, and I already did that enough. No. Plus, listening to Bosch like over and over and over again, I would have to listen to him for so many hours, so many days, and listen, I got other shit to do. Like, I gotta fucking make sure I'm safe. I have people I gotta take care of. I have responsibilities. I don't have all day to watch Ben Shapiro videos and meme about it or something. I'm even at a point to where I'm considering quitting YouTube at some point in the future. Not because I don't like YouTube, although that is part of it, but because I don't want to keep doing this. But this is something that has to be vocalized. I use this channel to get a voice out there, not to make money, not to capitalize on shit like Grifting. I've heard this shit for like three years now, and nothing has fundamentally changed. I've met intelligent people everywhere, worldwide, who still have a problem with Vosh. And here is where I say, and repeat what I said two years ago, Vosh needs to be deplatformed. So just real quick, Vosh and Luna and EJ from Non-Compete have been having a debatical over the course of time, and it's gotten worse. EJ has begrudgingly released a confrontational video, and Vosh's response is never to listen to this person. This person is not credible because they went to a capitalist institution, especially when talking about Luna Oi. He believes that Vietnam is a capitalist nation. Regardless of whether or not you believe it is a capitalist nation, Bosch also went to a capitalist institution and got his degree there. So are you telling me that there really is some credibility in that statement, in that claim, in that argument that Luna is uncredible because she went to a capitalist institution, so to speak? when Vosh also did the same thing. But that's not even really what I'm making this video about. I already know Vosh is full of shit. That's not really what I'm here to convince you of. I'm here to convince you that Vosh is straight up fucking violent. And again, I'm not even really touching on every single little thing. It's just, I really need to put this point across right fucking now. I want to show you this clip of Vosh telling his audience to target Luna, to go after Luna. Luna saw the clip. Hold on, we have to twist. Twist the knife. Nazi has a point. Maybe the Nazis had a point. Nazi has a point. Yes. Maybe the Nazis had a point. How do we respond? Notice how Vosh is already thinking, hey, I have to be on the attack. I have to respond. A suspend. 
Now we're doing it. Go for it. Chat, do your job. Bosch knows his audience will harass his opponents. It is in bad faith to assume he isn't already cognizant. And after that, he straight up says that if you are a Marxist Leninist, it should be legal to hit you. Uh... Oh my god, this is so crazy. The problem here isn't about insults. The problem is that MLs aren't fascist by default, and ANCOMs and actual theory heads who call themselves MLs need to work together and not have this pettiness. I, I know that we'll talk in the future, so I don't need to address this here, but the point that I'm at right now is I feel like if you're an ML, it should just be legal to hit you. Uh, if you call yourself an ML. I don't think MLs can be theory heads. Like, it should, like yeah. Registered men mental disorder, yeah. I'd say all of this for two reasons. One is because Bosch is knowingly taking EJ out of context in the clip that he is citing, saying that EJ defends Nazis. Not only is he knowingly taking him out of context, he actually doesn't want you to know the context in which EJ is out of context for. He's promoting anti-intellectualism, straight up, in the same way that Nazis would burn books. It is about as disingenuous as what Fox News and CNN would use to weaponize their narrative when giving stories defending the status quo. And the second reason is, is that it already is legal to hunt down communists in the United States. It's been legal for over a hundred years. You know what else is legal, Vosh? All kinds of fucked up shit, like Kyle Rittenhouse's whole case. And no, I am not defending Kyle Rittenhouse, because I know that Bosch and his disingenuous audience will take that clip out of context. I did a four-part series on why Kyle Rittenhouse was systematically groomed by the U.S. Empire and the police state. I am a longtime police abolitionist. Do not fucking test me here. Now, I know that Vosh isn't saying anything about Kyle Rittenhouse, but I know his buddy Destiny does. But the fundamental point that I'm trying to make here is that Vosh is very explicitly telling his audience to target other people online. I've said it in the past that Vosh and Xander Hall and Destiny and all the debate bros, they should be deplatformed. I'm not the only one who has this opinion, but they have tried desperately to change my opinion on the matter. They've tried to change my mind, make me come to their side. Maybe I am wrong. Well, no, I'm not wrong. Like, I've considered it several times. No, I'm not wrong. I'm older than Vosh. I've lived more experiences than Vosh. I don't live in a comfy fucking apartment in Seattle like Vosh does. I live in Section 8 housing. I have to worry about Confederates down the street trying to shoot me. Like... No, Vosh is full of shit. Vosh doesn't give me the benefit of the doubt. None of my fans goes to tell Vosh that Vosh should watch all every second of my fucking videos. Vosh doesn't even do that for Luna's video. That is so disingenuous. And that goes on top of all of the other things that Vosh is guilty of, like spreading misinformation about black nationalism, spreading misinformation about the land back movement, spreading misinformation about his allegations for being a fucking pedophile, especially flirting with the idea that lolicons are not bad because capitalism. If lolicons are not bad because capitalism, then maybe that's a statement about capitalism, isn't it? Maybe capitalism is bad. Like, it's weird that I'm, I'm learning this from a leftist, supposedly, who is trying to inform this audience who is somehow de-radicalizing. Do I really have to explain why Lolicon is bad, why child pornography is bad, and why consuming those two things or producing those two things is bad. And again, these are not even the specific things that I am calling him out for. But he is dangerous because of those attributes as well. I mean, supposedly de-radicalizing because it really feels like Vash is kind of like keeping them in their place. Keeping them right where they are. Cozy. Where they fucking are. A good name. No violence right now. If you are a follower of Bosch and you subscribe to his inbred marriage 
of mutualism and socialism that somehow makes libertarian market socialism or whatever, then I have to ask you, what does socialism look like to you? Like, what does socialism look like? What does that future hold for you? Does socialism seem beneficial to you? And for a majority of you, socialism is fairly obvious. Wellness for all. I am a socialist after all. I'm an anarcho-communist. I am on the same board as this. But then I have to further ask you, do you realize? Well, you are on BreadTube. You are on the YouTube platform that is designed specifically for the sake of competition that you are being fed content, including this video, which is strictly for entertainment purposes. And do you further see that Vosh's content is explicitly for that purpose? That means that any claim that he has for a socialist cause is explicitly advantageous to his own agenda, as a not holistically or specifically socialist, but his brand. And if you do subscribe to those various subsections of socialism, what does hitting a Marxist-Leninist or hitting Luna or attacking other people online, especially marginalized people, have anything to do with that goal of socialism? And I'm just gonna say this because it's my video. Vosh has already gone off the deep end. He's very open about the fact that he plays dirty. I'm just gonna say this, Vosh, you have some small dick energy. All right? Fuck working on myself, okay? We're just going full, just full schizo uh, for 2022. That's the, that's the vibe, that's what we've got. Federal 